been exposed to music as a young kid because my dad used to play the guitar and every morning he'd play records. That's, that's what he uses to wake the whole house up. When I was nine, we all got into a car accident, all of us, like the whole family. He was the only one who didn't survive, we didn't make it. His loss made the house literally feel silent because there was no music. This is my dad's guitar. Of course, it did not look like this when he owned it. When he died, I decided that I would own it. I like how this connects me really to my dad. It just means so much to me. My bones are safe and my heart can rest knowing it belongs to you, you. Today we're working with Franco and Reese Mansaman. Hey! Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the studio. We're big music fans and we're fans of Franco and Reese. We've seen them perform live. We've played in the same shows with them. And we're all very fortunate that Coke Studio has brought them together. Hello. Hi, good morning. Hello. Hi, Reese. Hello. Welcome Hi. to the Coke Studio. When we heard about the um, concept of Coke Studio, it was very exciting, lalo na when we heard about the pairings. Today, we're asked to work with Reese. Magaling si Reese. It's a bit loud. Guys. The Franco guys. Hello. This is going to be fun. Hi, guys. Morning. Hello. See Reese. This is the evil Reese. He's a grammar. I was coming into this project very nervous because I was part of the Franco and I feel like our sound could not be more different. It's a challenge because she mostly performs acoustic. I think I like it. Usually, my songs are cutesy and, you know, we play mo sa ano, kindergarten class. Ito yung music ni Franco, very heavy. It's, it's also good that it's a collaboration between, like, young artists and more established artists because they can act as our mentor. As in D? D or... Uh, ano yan? C-sharp yan. Taas. We really didn't know how Franco, the band, would deal with Reese's music, or how Reese would react to that kind of beat, aggressive, down tune, down tune, and, and we were really surprised when Reese started down tuning her guitar. Para oh. this is gonna be a heavy song. Oh. Was... Actually, you, the mere act of tuning down to was Franco. surprising oh. right away. Okay, yung idea kasi talaga namin bossa nova. <laughs> <laughs> Music is, like we know, is a universal language. For some reason, they can understand each other right away. They yeah. parang wala na yung language barrier or age barrier or social barrier na matiba yung settings nila or lifestyles. Even though Franco is already such an established band. I don't want my voice to be lost in this song also, so I want to put myself forward and be able to contribute the best way I can, so the song sounds us. Coke Studios really wants the challenge as artists because it's just a new flavor, not only to the people who are working on the songs, aka kami, but also to the listeners. It opens all of us up to like different ears, different audiences. I think it's part of the, the challenge and bring it on. We're interested in what's going on. Hi, Reese. Today is cover day. Franco decided to do uh, Reese's Bleed. The bleed is three chord progression. Lang. Ulit -ulit. Oh, pwede, pwede to. All of the stars up in the sky. I think it, it fit the band in terms of the music, lyric wise. Oh, the song is a man. Ano lang, tokal siya sa hurt. Who oh, good? Sa pain. Bleed is a song about experiencing pain and parang trying to make sense of why this is happening and how I plan to get past it. I very much welcome a different interpretation of that song because that song is mine and ever since it's out, it could be anybody else's story. Game. Okay. 
like contrast. Franco made a Franco version of Bleed and Madugo. It, it was, was intense. It was good. It was huge sounding. Balls out rock. We were totally blown away. Fundamentally rock solid. Yun yung term. It's, it's just... That's just heavy.
do a cover of each other's songs. So I'm gonna do a Franco song. I'm gonna do Castaway. Tell us about Castaway. How did the song come about? I wrote the song in, when I was living in the States. It was a time na okay, wala na to. I, I guess I'm just gonna be here in the States. Do a 95 job. It was a really gloomy time siguro sa buhay ko. Being away from the Philippines, missing my friends and family. Ka. Kaya nga Castaway kasi ako lumag isa. Just for personal reasons lang. I wrote a song just to keep my inspiration going. But... It's interesting because when I heard it the first time, nakaisip na ako kung paano ko siya gagawin. But the challenge was I was hearing it on the piano, but I'm not a piano player. Like, What's the... your plan? Did, did you bring a, bre a band? Or... Inisip ko kasi parang medyo minimalist lang yung take. Para contrast din. Tapos tatry kong piano. mag piano. Okay. Medyo alo, alis sa comfort zone ko. I like Castaway because the lyrics are very, very relatable and feeling ko, we've all felt that way. We've all felt like Castaways at some point and it doesn't even have to mean too much. Parang siguro like at your low point. Reese took it to another dimension. Not direction, but in di another dimension. Na sobrang lungkot din na parang wow. Sa tagalog ko na describe ang payak. Where Franco loves to maximize their volume, maximize the stage presence, maximize the guitars, maximize the bass, maximize the drums. Reese comes and does a very minimal one or two notes on the piano and her vocals. What I especially like about that was Reese is not a piano player. So she went out of her way, out of her comfort zone to play it. Kasali yung pagka uncomfortable ng instrument. Eh. Dun sa version niya ng song. It was very fragile. Yung pagka tug tug niya. <laughs> Reese's version of Castaway is one of the most emotional heard. songs we've heard here in Dito. the Coke studio. Oh. Step through the farthest side of my dream Be careful of what you might see So careless inside, I'm dying slowly Sail into my wild Wrapped up like a little bomb shoelace I strong but I am trying hopelessly Hopelessly On my own castle away Trapped and caught in between Psychotraumatic, hypnotic scene A mountain of dust to ponder over On my own, as a wave Trapped and caught in between Reaction too late I'm behind But catch me I'm moving on I'm moving on Catch me I'm moving on <laughs>
Today we were trying to come up with a bridge and uh, finalize the, the arrangement and the lyrics. I like the approach that we took. I'm working with a band. They love rocking out, but pinaglaban ko na lagyan natin ng onting quiet part for the audience to be able to be brought back to the original intention of the song. One more, then let's record this song. Hello! Hi guys! Welcome back! Record na tayo! If anything that we can learn from making music, recording studio, is that it's building a lot of brick by brick foundation first. And with Reese and Franco, it was very systematic. It was beautifully done, the foundation. One, two, three, go! We were very careful then with the orchestration, lalo na. Kasi we're used to having heavy riffs, really loud instruments. Na for this project, we, we don't really think that we'll work with having Reese. Parang medyo ano yung voice ni Reese. Eh. Mas fragile, mas calm, mas ano, very ibang opposite Feminine. from what we Feminine. do. I guess the challenge was having a, approaches. Having a different voice on the record. Because, I mean, personally, I haven't done that. Singing with a, a female artist. It was a good experience. I don't think I really think of it as, oh, I'm a woman and they're men. We're all musicians and artists, and every one of us has a significant contribution in personality was they're so down to earth for someone so huge, the right? bond. I think it helped that their demeanor was like that they treated me. Just like a, a friend, talaga. And it made me free to put out my ideas, and I wasn't worrying that they judged me for it. Yeah, there were moments of creative differences and it's natural. You know, Isla would make a suggestion or Buddy would make a suggestion and it would end up sounding better and it's really like a give and take of ideas. It's a very unlikely chemistry. Magkaibang magkaiba yung pinanggagalingan nila and we, we were slightly words like wala yatang intersect yung dalawa. So we were really surprised when their music came out. It sounded neither like the other and yet it sounded like both of them. Talk things out, I don't know. But we stay on track, I don't know. And in the studio, that's the goal all the time. Eh? You take two artists, and when they make a collaboration, the goal is that the sum is greater than the parts. And I feel lost. It's always magical to hear something or to come up with something from nothing. Thus, people would appreciate it, you know? There's just something magical about it.
don't wanna be alone, I hate it Just hold on till the night is through But has it all been lies? All those things you said all been episode of Coke Studio Philippines. When you put good artists out of their comfort zones, greatness can come out. Personally, everything that I write, it always starts with a feeling. You know, we're working with a little bit of time pressure as well. Hindi kami sanay na ganito mag-work. Parang syempre, kailangan magpakita ang gilas ka rin. And I was singing. I don't sing like this. It's, it's gonna be sad when this is over. It was such a nice little boot camp. Maraming paraan para gumawa ng music. Mahanap mo rin yung sayo. Yeah. What's up, guys? Did you like this video? Well, Franco and I got more awesome stuff for you to check out. Yeah, so check out our other videos and click here to subscribe to get the latest updates from Coke Studio.